Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long Obviously there's this kind of the stigma that Yale it being like an Ivy League school and the, the academics being so intense and everything that like we're getting weighed down by a lot of work and that's like all we're doing. But like what do you guys think of the, like the workload of classes at Yale and how does it compare to like high school or what you've experienced before? Um, for me personally, the workload is way more manageable than I anticipated it being. Um, High school was a very busy time. I it's it's very interesting coming from high school to here because in high school I was very type A, like planned out every single minute. Whereas here I feel like there's more time to do other things like that aren't necessarily academically related. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's my own personal take, but way more free time than major. I expected. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. I'm a non-STEM major, uh, but yeah. So like Tilly was saying, I mean, there's definitely work. Um, but a lot more time to do the work. So mm -hmm. time management, while it's important key. in high school, way more important way in different. college. Way yeah. um, and way different because it's a lot more unstructured time um, and a lot more like optional activities. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, you gotta like. <coughs> yeah, for example, you'll have like, let's say a class has like two midterms and then one final or like one final paper. like you don't really have a lot of in-between assignments unless like it's P-sets, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Weekly P-sets, yeah. 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 nightly homework. I mean, <laughs> that'll do it. But, but the nightly but homework's like 10 minutes, so it's not yeah. like a... There's, um, it, unlike high school, high school was a lot more nightly homework, whereas here like you have at least like a week to like get an assignment done. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as long as you're able to be on top of it, not as big of a problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I was surprised. <clears throat> you know, everyone warns you, they're like, oh, once you get to college, like, uh, yeah, you're only gonna have two grades. Uh, but actually, you know, with STEM, definitely I've got a P set every week. Oh, P set's problem set, um, which is just like you you probably have problem sets in high school. They're like they're like homework but longer. Yeah, they're like homework <laughs> but longer. Um, and then my classes have like homework to be done before each class, uh, which I was definitely surprised by. I was just expecting midterms, um, but the homework before class is super easy and doesn't take long. And it's really just more so that you know what's gonna happen during class than like grading your understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think for most, for most STEM classes, P-sets are what, like 30, 35% of your grade, I'd say? At least that's, that's yeah, how it is for, I don't yeah. know. It's really dependent <clears throat> on the math. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely for math, it's lower. Yeah, I think math is like... Math, your final is like 55% of your grade. Yeah. yeah. Um, Just study. Yeah, study. Yeah. Study. <laughs> <laughs> study and know your stuff. <laughs> yeah. All you guys obviously know that I am in the best college, Timothy Dwight College, right? I mean, and, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> TD, I don't know. TD gets some hate. Maybe a little. Some TD is objectively the worst <laughs> residential college. I don't know it what they're talking be, about. It used to be okay, sort of, because it was your head of college or dean that had Sasha Pup, who mm. was yeah. absolutely the cutest dog I've ever seen in my whole entire life. We'll throw up a picture. Oh, uh, yeah. Throw up a picture. <laughs> um,. But she's gone now, yeah. and so that just knocked TD way down to the bottom. Yeah, uh, sorry, Josh. We have the objectively best community on campus. I mean, there's Silliman, so... Silliman uh. definitely beats you out because <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. of Hawk Santos. I mean, like... <laughs> Alright, so do you guys want to share a little bit about your residential colleges? Um, I'm in Branford College. It's one of the oldest colleges, but objectively one of the most beautiful. We have Harkness Tower, which... It's pretty it's it's really pretty. It can get loud <laughs> when you're trying to study, but yeah. besides that, love Branford. <laughs> and I'm in Berkeley College. Um, the most which crowded is dining hall. The most yeah. centrally <laughs> located of the colleges. Yeah. It's the only college that is split up into two different courtyards um, because Sterling and Cross Campus are right mm -hmm. in the middle. Um, so there's a tunnel that goes under Cross Campus, actually, and under all the grass and connects the two courts, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so their dining hall just got redone, and so it is always, always, always packed, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, and Julia and I are some of the lucky few that got to pick our residential colleges. Yep. Both Megan and my brother. Um, <laughs> Megan and <laughs> How do you word this? Uh, both so, Megan and yeah. I's brothers. So Julia and I both have brothers <laughs> that go here. Yeah, so. And so you can choose if you want to be in the same residential college as your sibling.
anyone but the same residential college as your sibling or just keep it random. Mm -hmm. And we both chose to be in the same college as our brothers. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, even though neither of them will be on campus next year, right? Yeah, and my brother currently isn't even at Yale this year because <laughs> he's studying abroad, so... Yeah. But Good stuff. It's going to be yeah. interesting next year. Oh, it'll be so <laughs> interesting having him back, but... I hear he's, he's fluent now, though, yeah? More or less, I mean, yeah. He edits my papers. <laughs> All right, um, so obviously Yaleys are pretty involved around campus. We try to do a lot of different extracurriculars. Um, try to get involved in stuff that we're really passionate about and stuff that we love. So do you guys want to share like what your extracurriculars have been this year so far? Yeah, so um, I did dance in high school and it's really cool because there's a lot of opportunities at Yale to do dance. Um, so I'm involved in two different dance companies. One's like a modern contemporary dance company and the other one's uh, ballet. Okay. Um, I joined a sorority at the beginning of this year. Rush process was uh, not as bad as I expected, which was nice. Um, and then we're also all in Air Force ROTC, so... Air Force. Go yeah. Air Force! Air, Air power. power! Air Superiority. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. And, um... <laughs> this is great. Okay. So sorry, Josh. Yeah. So in addition to ROTC, I am on the climbing team, uh, which mostly does indoor climbing. Wait, actually, it's all indoor climbing. Officially, it's all indoor climbing. Okay. It's illegal for us to do outdoor climbing because really? that's not what really? the waivers are for. Oh. Um, Yikes. So the Yale climbing team doesn't do anything outside, but the Yale Outdoors Club, they, they do lots of climbing. <laughs> ah. So you climb. Um, <laughs> I climb. <laughs> yes, I'm on the, the Yale climbing team. Uh, Camp Kesem, of Kesem. course. Mm -hmm. All for the kids. Yeah, we'll link um, both of our pages down below. You can still donate. Still donate. Oh, and I do math counts, uh, which some of you might have done in middle school. I don't know. Did you guys do it in middle school? You like tutor, not. tutor middle schoolers how to how to do math, which is cool. Ah, later. Berkeley Film Society. I am the co-interim vice president of the Berkeley Film Society. Wow. A very prestigious title. Um, <laughs> that my sweet me and I share as two of the three members of the Berkeley Film Society. It's an exclusive club. Very right, exclusive yeah. club. Um, and we host movies every month in Berkeley, and our next one is on Friday. Um, and also, as one of the, I think, three people in ROTC with my pilot's license, I was uh, selected to um, create and teach a flight simulator program, uh, which includes just your basic, I don't know, ground knowledge, stuff like that, and then um, instruction on the simulator. And that's once every other week. And it's a good time. Yeah, got a pretty good turnout. Yeah. All right. So obviously we're all also, as we mentioned, involved in RTC, Air Force mm -hmm. RTC. It's a big part of our. Uh, uh, rub the hat. Yes. <laughs> yep. Big part of our life here at Yale. Um, do you guys want to share like what kind of specifically like drew you to Air Force RTC at Yale? So I grew up in an Air Force family. Um, my dad, he actually just retired, I guess, last spring. So it's been a year, but. Um, it's it's been a familiar route or it was a familiar route um, wasn't entirely sure if it was something that I wanted to pursue but figured might as well apply for the program um, see what it's all about my brother's in the Air Force ROTC program at Yale and was able to speak to it and it sounded like a fun time yeah. so I was like might as well try it out and so far it's been one of the most positive experiences at Yale. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm not from a military family. <laughs> um, my uh, my stepdad was enlisted for, I don't know, four years in the Navy uh, right out of high school. But other than that, um, no real military roots. Uh, but I've always wanted to be in the military since I was in like fourth grade. Um, and as I mentioned before, I sort of decided between what branch, academy mm -hmm. or ROTC. Uh, you know, I think the, the normal decision someone that wants to go in the military <laughs> thinks well, yeah. about. Um, and honestly, I just couldn't say no to the amazing cadre at Yale Air Force ROTC. Yeah. They're very convincing They're and absolutely the best people. Um, plus, just the culture seemed really fun. And, um, like, I would really learn a lot and grow a lot from the program. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty unique to have, like, Air Force ROTC at, like, a place like Yale. Like it's mm. it's just an experience you can't get anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely second family. Oh yeah. yeah. Wingman. Yes. Wingman. 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 Yeah, we spent a lot of early mornings. What like Tuesday, Thursday mornings? We gotta wake up. We're all to bed at what like 5:30. 5:30. Yeah. 5 yeah. 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 PT starts at six. 
Um, Gotta be there 10 minutes early, yeah. of course. But it's a great bonding experience. Um, no one, no one I would rather spend the early hours of the morning with. Yes. Yeah, except maybe my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add the little, I'm gonna add the little wink effect. Wait, that actually, <laughs> no, no, cut out the whole thing. No, actually, please keep that in. No, that's going in, Megan. Sorry, you've already made a mistake. Why do I do things like this? Uh, no, but. it's a fun time though. Yeah, like definitely a group of people you spend a lot of time with. You get to know really well. We all went on yeah. foot together too. Yep. Yeah. A lot of you, a lot of the pre-frosh have been asking about like orientation trips, and if you're watching this, do foot. Definitely recommend definitely foot. foot. It was a great time. You will bond like nowhere else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you um, will uh, eat together, sleep together. We still hang out. <laughs> no. Yeah. We just yeah. got dinner. You, Thirty yeah. minutes ago. Yeah. It's, it's nice with the We're ROTC friends. because at least for Air Force. <laughs> 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 at least, at least for Air Force ROTC, um, all the first year cadets do foot together in the Air Force ROTC program. So we came into Yale very, very close. Oh, it yeah. was nice because the first week and a half or so, it's very confusing. So it was nice to have people to go back to and refer to. And the foot leaders were always there for us. Yeah. Shout out to Matthew and Mary. <laughs> we should do. I really want to do a video with them. That'd be so fun. Before Mary. Good luck, gang. Yeah, Mary did do one. <laughs>